I'm going to show you all how to do a port technique to get the perfect, mathematically perfect port without a calculator or without human error being involved is the main thing. What I do, now this port's going to turn, but this is the beginning of it. It's going to come one wood width from here back and turn. So what I do is, first of all, port width will be three inches. There's a three inch piece. between the ports and now uh, look if you're sharing a port like this and it turns I've seen a lot of people make that distance right here three inches it's not correct you need half of that because you're only that's only half of the port usage so the way I make these perfectly in the middle that's what I'm talking about here is I'll take pieces of wood and cut them make sure they're going to be too big to fit right here and right here and the trick is don't ever move your arm until you have both pieces cut make sure these pieces are identical in length and then keep, keep on knocking a small amount off until you can just put one down and it pops everything up and holds it still like that and then now you got exactly mathematically perfect square and everything port nail it in with the wood still touching it and then for the back I've got some one and a half inches which will go back here once I'm gluing and that gives you your distance off the front here keeps that all squared up also make sure these pieces are cut square don't have your arm crooked because then you're going to have a crooked port If y'all want to use the glue, you need to. There's a little trick I was taught by an old man. If you'll take your box, say you've got these port walls you need to tag. Now this one's usually going to be an easy one because how close it is, but if it goes off in the middle of the box or something, what I'll do, I'll line that port wall up with my table. You can really see it when you get up high. So it's just hanging off the edge of the table. You see that? And then that gives you a line underneath it to tack it. All you got to do is not go past the edge. So know where that is. And then you're good to go. Mathematical perfection.